Hello everybody, Max here, back again with a decklist. Today we're looking at Utopia FTK. As with all my decks, I'm not an expert, so small mistakes can creep in. Feel free to leave a constructive comment if you notice any mistakes or have tech suggestions. Now this deck has been around in various forms since the game's inception. I'll post the decklist in the description. It's an Xyz focused deck where the goal is to establish a Numeron Dragon along with a Manipulator of Souls and a Mystic Walk, to burn your opponent for over 13,000 damage in the draw phase of the second turn. My deck is a lot more expensive than it needs to be, the only UR that you need to craft are Numeron Dragon and Dragon R. The others are from the Utopia Structure deck. So, to do our combo we need two level 4 monsters, rank up magic utopi force and a mystic walk or a destruct potion so it's basically a four card combo but it looks a lot harder to accomplish than it is in practice let's break it down i'm gonna make some visuals for this to make it clear two level four monsters now this is a little misleading as depending on what level four monsters we have we might actually need three this is because CS Ascended the Sage, which I'm just gonna call Sage, searches the rank up spell if used for an Xyz of a Utopia monster. So a Sage represents not only one of our level 4 monsters, but also the rank up spell. If we don't open Sage, we have many ways to find it in Pot of Duality, Rota, Zexal Construction and TTT. We can also special summon it straight from the deck using CS Utopic Sage from our extra deck. This does mean that we need that additional level 4, so we can go into Utopia after and search the rank up spell. Speaking of, rank up magic, Utopia Force, or rank up for short, as it's the only one we play. We can search this, as mentioned via Sage, but also via Zexal Construction drastically increasing our odds of seeing this card. Basically, we're running 9 copies of it and can search it via the extra deck and monsters. And then finally, the Mystic Walk slash Destruct Potion. These are the hardest cards to find in the combo. We either need to draw it using Pots or Dugares, or we can search it using Trap Trick, which is pretty neat. This means that we're basically running 9 of the same card here as well. And that should break down real quick what to look for in your opening hands. Let's see it in practice. So here we go with the Utopia FTK combo. And Pot of Desires here looks very tempting, but we're actually going to use it for Summoner Monk's effect. Activate it, send the Pot of Desires, and we can simply special summon out the Ascended Sage straight from deck. And uh, we're in our combo. Go into the Utopia, and the CS Ascended Sage is going to activate. And allow us to search the rank up Utopia Force. Yes, then we make sure that we go into the C39. Afterwards, this is important as we need the material later. Use the rank up on the C39 and summon a 99 Dragonar. Activate Dragonar, detach 2, doesn't really matter what you detach, and summon out a Numeron Dragon. This is gonna activate the rank up magic in the graveyard to attach itself allowing us to activate Numeron Dragon. Numeron Dragon is then going to gain 13,000 attack with set our Destruction Potion and Mystic Walk, turn this to on, which is quite important, and pass. In the draw phase we will activate Mystic Walk, important that this is Shane Link 1, and pop the Numeron Dragon. Then we chain the Dragonar to that, detach 2 yet again. And summon out a Manipulator of Souls. The Mystic Quok will then activate, giving us 13,000 health. Manipulator of Souls will activate. I like to chain block with Utopia Force in case they have like an Ogre or something. 
as he needs to be face up on the field for his effect to resolve. And bam, there you go. An easy win, super simple deck, super easy to get it, it's quite consistent, it's kind of fun. So I recommend you guys check this one out and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, the usual stuff. Bye.